it's the jewel in Jacksonville's crown. In case you haven't been before, you really need to check out the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra. So this is the time of year that you can sign up for next year's season, and there are a lot of exciting things in store. Joining me now to talk more about what you can expect this year is the music director, Courtney Lewis. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Do appreciate it. We were just talking about, I've signed my kids up for piano lessons, and then we see the piano, of course. We all aspire to be able to play like that, and it is really just incredible, the talent that you have in the orchestra. Thank you. We have a great range of, of music yeah. coming up next season. And we're excited to welcome a really broad range of international soloists to play with the orchestra. So it's interesting. You have a number of things that, um, it, that are included in the program. So let's break it down. There's a special fanfare concert. That's, that's right. Up. Last year, we expanded from 10 classical weeks to 12. And this year, or next year, as we're talking about yeah. next year, we yeah. moved to 13. So we'll be opening the season with a one night only fantastic concert called Fanfare. And for that, we welcome a fantastic English violinist called Charlie C.M., will be playing the Sibelius Violin Concerto. And, and so, and we were speaking a little bit about this, in fact, during the um, commercial break, and we'll get to it, but there, there's music and movies, which I think is an interesting concept. I know you started it this year, you were explaining, that you can really hook younger people, children, teenagers, into a love of music. That's right, because so many people already have a passionate love of classical music through films. And what we started to do is to play the movies on a huge screen in Jacoby Symphony Hall and have the orchestra play the soundtrack live. A couple of weeks ago, we had Bernstein's wonderful film, West Side Story, which was completely sold out. It's not just for younger people, though. I mean, it's, right, it's a right. whole, it's very diverse audience um, who would go to see a movie. It's a really exciting way to experience your favorite movies. So next year, we begin the Harry Potter series, and we'll be doing one of those every year. So we're seeing some video playing. Can you describe a little bit of what we're seeing? That was, you, that was you Charlie just mentioned it. Yep. And then this is Jay Hunter Morris, who's a wonderful tenor. There's a big focus next season on opera. We're bringing back fully staged opera with Mozart's Don Giovanni. And we're going to end the season with an hour of Wagner's Goethe Demerit, which is one of the biggest operas in the repertoire. And we welcome two fantastic soloists for that, Jay Hunter Morris and Christine Brewer, both um, singers from the Metropolitan Opera in New York. And you have a number of guest artists also that are coming in that you mentioned. I mean, That's it's just... right. As the reputation of the orchestra grows, we're being able to attract more and more world-class talent. And, you know, I can rhyme off lots of names. Yeah. Jonathan Biss, the pianist, Anthony Marwood, violinist. Um, we just had Lang Lang here last week, the pianist. And the special guest for our gala next year will be Renee Fleming the wonderful American soprano, and I'm really excited about her coming to Jacksonville. It's interesting because one might be a little intimidated, thinking, you know, I'm not, you know, you know, symphony, I'm not quite sure. Classical music is not something that I may be, um, you know, have been drawn to in the past. That doesn't mean that you can't go and enjoy. If you don't know a whole lot about it, you can still enjoy and understand what you're hearing. Please do. Well, if, yeah. if you're those, that person, yeah. First of all, half of what you think is completely wrong, so just forget about <laughs> right? it. Um, it's a great way to spend an evening, you know, to come and have a meal and then hear a concert. But we also have a couple of concert series that are really designed for people who feel like that. Mm -hmm. Come to a movie with orchestra, come to some of the pops, or come to Symphony in 60, which is our series at 6.30 on Thursday nights, one hour long, so you can leave if you, quickly if you don't like it. But we also have cocktails before and after the concert, and people are invited onto the stage to meet the musicians. So check out Symphony in 60. And what a great date night also, Absolutely. just with your significant other or even just some friends or neighbors. Yep. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. it. Sounds like some exciting stuff happening certainly next year. If you're interested in finding out more about the Symphony, we'll have a link on the morning show page of newsforjax.com just a little later this morning.